Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning from WKYT News. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Hope you're having a fabulous start to your day. It is August 18th. And Tuesday morning, now at 6 a.m., three people were rescued this morning after their Jeep crashed into the Kentucky River. New details about a crash in southern Kentucky that killed a Kentucky Sheriff's deputy. We're seeing some visibility issues out and about. You can see three miles of Richmond. We have less than three in some locations over toward the far eastern zones and also a little rain to work with this morning. When I say a little, I mean it. I mean, you're talking about a couple of sprinkles, a couple of light showers, but the storms come tomorrow. I'll explain that in your full forecast in just a few minutes. All right, careful if you're traveling in the fog. And once again in the news this morning, a dramatic rescue along the Kentucky River. New this morning, three people were hurt after their Jeep crashed right into the water. The crash happened around 1.30 this morning off High Bridge Road on Lock 7 Road. All three people involved were rushed to the hospital. WKYT's Mark Barber is there live at UK to explain what we know about what happened. Good morning, Rebecca. When you consider that this Jeep went over a steep cliff and into a river, it really is amazing that firefighters say that everyone who was involved in this is expected to survive. The three people who were in that Jeep are now recovering here at UK Hospital. Now, the two men that were in that Jeep, they were rushed here by ambulance after the crash. Firefighters say a woman who was also in the Jeep was thrown from the vehicle and knocked unconscious. She was flown here to UK Hospital. Firefighters tell us the crash happened around 1.30 this morning when the Jeep ran off of Lock 7 Road in Wilmore. The three people who were in the vehicle landed in the Kentucky River. Firefighters say they rushed to the cliff when someone in the area called 911. The victims were in the water. One was ejected and unconscious. One of the other victims rescued that individual and brought them all ashore. Now, crews say they were able to get them up off of that river bank and pull them to safety by setting up a rope system. And of course, we'll have much more on that rescue coming up on WKYT News at 6:30. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, Mark, thank you very much. A federal judge has ruled that Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis can continue to deny same-sex couples marriage licenses during her appeal. Judge David Bunning denied a stay on the injunction that ordered Davis to issue the marriage licenses, but he immediately issued a temporary stay on his ruling so that the U.S. Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals can review the case. The judge said because there are constitutional issues involved and because emotions on both sides of the debate are running high, he decided to issue the temporary stay. So for now, Davis's office won't have to issue any marriage licenses until the appeals court reviews the case. We have new details this morning about a crash in southern Kentucky that killed a Russell County Sheriff's deputy. WKWT's Hillary Thornton's on our live desk with a look at the fallen officer. Morning, Rebecca. We have learned the victim of that deadly crash, Deputy Sean Cook, had also served the community as a firefighter working for the Russell Springs Fire Department. Investigators say the crash on US 127 in Clinton County involved a dump truck and two pickups about one mile north of the Tennessee state line. Kentucky State Police say Cook was attempting to pass another vehicle when he collided head on with a fully loaded dump truck. The Russell County Sheriff's Office says Deputy Cook was off duty and driving his personal vehicle at the time of the crash. Deputy Cook had served as court security and a transport deputy since 2010. Bernard Funeral Home in Russell Springs is handling funeral arrangements for Deputy Cook. At the live desk, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Well, a college football player was killed in an ATV crash in northern Kentucky. The Campbell County Police Department says 21-year-old Mitchell Kramer was found dead along Rifle Range Road. They say he was the only person riding the ATV. Thomas Moore College says Kramer was a junior there and a member of the school's football team. Police are not sure what caused the crash. The time is 6.04 now on WKYT this morning, and a Laurel County father is in jail after police say his toddler was found wandering alone outside. Danny Jones Jr. is charged with endangering the welfare of a minor and public intoxication. Deputies say a woman found the 23 month old child crying on her front porch. They say the child was only wearing a dirty diaper.
The child is now with other family members. Vandals damaged a Martin County church, and police say it is being investigated this morning as a hate crime. Members of the Calf Creek United Baptist Church say the vandals covered one side of the building in offensive graffiti. The vandals also removed outdoor utility wires and pipes. Police have not made any arrests. Well, the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office is warning people who post pictures of crashes on Facebook. Police say posting a picture online could cause you to be called in as a witness. Investigators say people sometimes post the pictures before police even arrive at the crash scene. They also say that if you shoot video of a crash scene while driving, you could be charged with a misdemeanor. Now, your zone by zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris and First Alert Defender. We have a couple of sprinkles, a couple of light showers out and about. It's mainly south and eastern zones. And you know what? That's going to be the best chance of rain today if you look down toward your south and east. And you can see it. it's not much. I mean, it's just a hit and miss, very light shower. It was light rain yesterday. I think some of us picked up about a quarter of an inch to about half an inch, but most of us was just below that. You had to go far south and far eastern zones to actually see some of the, the heavier rain. But as of right now, I mean, you're looking for bits and pieces here and there. Jackson, go back towards, say, Hazard. Hazard about to get in on the mix here in the next couple of minutes. But go down south and southwest. We still have a little bit more on the way. So Lake Cumberland, uh, Cumberland Parkway, travel all the way to 27 and also 75. There's going to be bits and pieces here and there. It's nothing that's going to rain your morning out. It's just letting you know as you walk out the door, you may have a couple of sprinkles, a light shower fly right over you. Visibility is another issue. We look over toward the east southeast, and that's where we're holding on to around a mile, some right there around zero. Keep that in mind as you're traveling, especially back toward the eastern zones. Off through the day, the rain will start to fade. Once the rain fades in the afternoon and off into the evening, it's done until we hit tomorrow afternoon. So we will have a bit of a break, but tomorrow afternoon is when we start to see some of that rain creep on in. Here's your rainfall forecast for today. Remember, this is your driest. It's not fully dry, as we just talked about, but your driest day in the next couple of days. Here's the rainfall forecast, and none of these numbers really jump off the screen at you. I mean, 1.82 through Thursday isn't a whole heck of a lot of rain. Now, you'll get heavy downpours with some of these storms tomorrow, and Thursday morning it'll start to fade. So here's your yard work forecast if you're trying to do it. I actually did uh, mowed some grass and some sprinkles yesterday here in Lexington. But most are dry today. We can't rule out a couple of showers east and southeast. Going in toward Wednesday, we'll have some storms. It's going to be hard pressed to do that toward the afternoon and evening. Thursday, though, most of the rain's early, so it's possible that you can get some of this mowing in later on in the day. It's possible. So we'll see how that turns out. But as of right now, I would say Wednesday is probably the worst day to do it. Thursday afternoon and evening, it'll feel phenomenal. You'll be able to do it then. It looks good. And today, it's mostly dry, too. So here's your seven day. What you can expect today, mainly south and east. Then we go toward tomorrow, and we'll look for those strong storms to be with us tomorrow, especially during the afternoon hours. Thursday, though, it looks like those showers and thunderstorms will be likely during the morning hours, and then it'll start to fade away as we work our way through the day, off towards your Friday and your weekend. Those two days look pretty good, and Rebecca mentioned it earlier. We've been very lucky with Friday and Saturday, all these events going on. Kids going back to school, it looks like it's going to clear out and have a pretty good looking end of the work week. Yeah, including that low humidity, that That's is just right. nice. Looks All right. Good. So we have that to look forward to, That's and right. we will. Our time is eight minutes after six on WKYT, and each morning we bring you weather and traffic together. And here is a look at what's happening out on the roads. Nicholasville and alumni, and everybody's moving along fine at that location right now. Uh, we do have, as Micah mentioned, some reduced visibility in some areas. It is patchy, but you can uh, run into that fog out there this morning. Also, uh, we've learned this morning. Morning that it apparently was concerns about traffic that led to the uh, suspension of uh, that uh, work permit over there for the new high school along Winchester Road and Sir Barton in Lexington. So they're trying to uh, work that out, and at least for now, the construction is on hold. But uh, that's uh, reported uh, this morning by the Herald Leader. It's good to have you along. It's six, uh, nine minutes after six on WKYT this morning. U.S. Senator Mitch McConnell made a stop in central Kentucky where he said the president is likely to succeed in closing a controversy. Deal. We'll have that story and also see how two women are making history in the United States military.